you filthy savages, it's your ferocious host with the most weather to be the savage, and I'm back with another reaction video. Today I will be reacting to Muhammad Ali versus Joe Frazier, three highlights. Now, I want to give you all a little background, because I do know about this fight. I don't think the video, the video doesn't give any background, I don't believe, it doesn't look like it does. So, I just want to say, this is regarded as one of the greatest fights of all time. Um, you know how they say a picture is worth a thousand words, well... You can't really tell, but it's all it's over a hundred degrees in this arena. People at ringside were fainting just from the heat alone. And imagine fighting in that. Imagine be having to move and duck and bob and weave. It's crazy. That see, this is real stamina. People don't have stamina like this today. But um hold on, what else? Okay. Now at this point, Ali thought that Joe Frazier was washed up. He believed, oh, Joe don't have it anymore. So Ali had a tendency not to train for guys he didn't take too seriously. And during this time, Ali was married, but he was messing around with this other girl who is who was, come on, let's be real, she was prettier, look her up. I think his mistress was, I think her name was Veronica Porsche or something like that. And he was cheating on his wife. So he was just into all types of things in the Philippines. The Philippines... Filipinos loved him, Ali Bumaye. I think even today they still have a mall there that's named after him. I mean, they just loved him. Uh, other than that, let's jump right in. Frazier keeps smiling as he corners Ali to the rope. I love this part. Ali went in. Boom. Hold on. I got to rewind that. That is just so pretty to me. Look at that. Lining them up. Boom. His hand speed was just a thousand times faster than Joe's. Joe Frazier would have to come forward and take four punches just to land one. But one of his punches, a Joe Frazier punch, a Joe Frazier left hook, is worth ten of Ali's punches. One thing I'm noticing is that even though Joe trained his ass off for this fight, his age is showing. I mean, both there, if you saw them both near their primes, where Ali didn't really have a prime because, you know, they took him out for that three and a half year layoff. Anyway, but Joe Frazier used to be able to get out of the way of his jab pretty good, you know, by moving and in the rhythm, but here he's just getting hit over and over again. And this fight, I think this was 1975. I think Ali is 33 here because I think this is the year after he beat George Foreman. So he's 33 here and Joe is two years younger. So Joe is 31. They had been in so many wars at this point. I don't think, yeah, they had to age. <sighs> yeah. Good punches by uh, Frazier now as he's got Ali on the rope. Ali with the rope to go. They're looking for an opening here. Okay, now if you don't know what he's doing, if you ever see a boxer like do this, this comes straight from Muhammad Ali. This is called the rope dope Now, because he beat Foreman like that, Ali went around thinking, oh, he could do that to everybody. What he didn't count on, though, is Joe Frazier is not the same type of fighter as Foreman. Styles make fights. Remember that. So, wow, that was making noise in the background. I hope y'all didn't hear that. But here, whereas that worked at on Foreman, Joe Frazier being the shorter fighter and having Ali having such a reach advantage, he's smothering Ali right here. Those long arms at close range can't really help you much. So Joe dug his head in Ali's chest and just went for the body and went for the head when he could. Great work. Woo! 
But Ali, that stamina, opening up. Fought his way out the corner against Joe Frazier. They don't make him like this no more, y'all. I know I keep stopping the video, but it's just so many little things I want to say. Do y'all hear that squeaking sound of how the gloves, the leather is bouncing off their bodies? I mean, I swear as this fight goes on, I see them kind of, their bodies kind of dehydrate. They're dropping so much water weight. It's crazy. Their bodies are all slippery. Like I said, a Joe Frazier left hook or any punch from Joe Frazier is worth 10 of Ali's. See, these are the middle rounds when Joe Frazier would start to come on. He was slow starting out, but in the middle rounds, his stamina would take over. That right hand. Look at that right hand. It's like a jackhammer. Ranger is very strong and scoring heavily, even though he took a lot in this round.
coasting a little bit here. And Elliott's scoring on him. Frazier looking for a spot on the inside. Did y'all see his mouthpiece fly out? Round 13. This is where it gets dangerous because, okay. Now, if you don't know, Joe Frazier had a eye injury back in the 60s. He never said anything about it, and for much of his career, he was fighting basically blind in one eye. Now, at this point, even though Frazier is stronger, Ali has been landing so much that he swelled basically both his eyes shut. So Joe can't see. He's fighting on instinct, on autopilot, basically. Hell of a man. Staggered. Alley flipped. Alley! That Ranger looked awful tired. It's puffed around both eyes now. Brown. Round 14 is the last round of the fight. Ali was just killing him. One of Ali's trainers described this round as basically a turkey shoot. Ali was hitting him with everything he threw. They had to walk Joe Frazier back to his corner. Within a bunch or two of going down. He, right now, he's arguing with his trainers because they want to stop the fight. The doctor comes up and looks at Frazier. I think it's going to be over. It's all over. Okay. That's basically, that's, it's over, but if Joe, here's an interesting fact, um, as much as I love Ali and as tough as he was, if Joe would have held out a little bit longer, he would have won because right now in those two corners, when they went to their corners after the round ended, the difference is Joe is saying, I want more boss. I don't want to quit. I don't want to quit. Ali is begging his trainers to cut the gloves off. So that's just to give you a little background. It was a hell of a fight, and he just, Frazier took Ali to hell and back. But uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out my gaming channel, Weathersby the Savage, and the ferocious host with the most is signing off.